Hello everyone, this is Alexandre again from Renault Studio. Welcome back to this uh, tutorial. So, um, uh, this tutorial will be about um, creating uh, this mathematic formula. This is a quadratic uh, spline uh, interpolation. So, uh, we're gonna have a smooth deformation for the eyelid instead of linear with the classic. Um, in between the in the shape editor so to create this uh, it's really simple uh, uh, we can start right away so just gonna create a bifrost graph here <coughs> uh, very okay it's here sorry <laughs> and um, what we're gonna do now it's uh, we're gonna create a graph so you see uh, a new node appear here so it comes with an input and an output so uh, what we are going to do is uh, let's say that uh, st the shape that will be uh, deformed by time this is the the slider that we're gonna we're gonna move so this is gonna be the output so now we have to create uh, we have to bring the input uh, into uh, the input the all the the data here to be able to uh, to create the output uh, s uh, multiplied by t so let's create let's say that uh, s s1 s2 s3 are um, uh, we're gonna start with this um, with those two shape here so S3 uh, is gonna be this one S2 is gonna be this one and S1 gonna be this one so let's bring them inside the graph S1 S2 and S3 okay so now we have our tree here S1, S2, S3 and what we can uh, see here it's multiplied by this uh, these uh, data in the parentheses so what is the what that mean here a 2 multiplied by t uh, exponent 2 minus t so let's say that um, t is uh, a value a value that we are going to uh, to to activate and deactivate to uh, to slide to uh, make our shape uh, blend so this is our T actually we can plug it in the input and delete it and rename it T so T is here so first is 2 multiplied by T exponent 2 so let's create a value of 2 Whoa value of 2 okay and we multiply this we're gonna bring the multiply node here we multiply <coughs> this by the t here exponent 2 so let's bring the power node so we can plug in the t and exponent 2 and we multiply this 2 value here to it all right so we have this first here um, now it's minus t so let's add a subtract 
node and we subtract uh, this to t so let's do this to t all right that's done and all of this is multiplied by s3 so we said uh, earlier that this one was s3 so we want the point position of this mesh so let's get the point position get point position of this and we multiply the result uh, of this to the point position multiply here there we go so we have this done let's do the two others all right uh, so next one is uh, s2 here we can get the position the point position here so we already have it and this is going to be multiplied by this so let's add multiply multiply here we gonna add the, the minus 4 multiplied by t exponent 2 so value minus 4 multiply multiply by t exponent 2 if you see we already have it here t exponent 2 so we can just plug it here also there so we save a node um, and also what we need to do is uh, add 4 multiply by t so we had uh, we had th uh, this and uh, a value we have 4 4 multiply by t that is here yeah oh, come on what's going on okay so here four multiply by t so we can add it here plus four multiply by t plus four multiply by t So we have this done and all of this is multiplied by the point position here. There we go. Okay, S2 is done. Now let's do the S1. Last one. We also get the we can save time and just copy paste this here and plug in this one instead and unplug this one okay now s1 we have it here s1 point position multiply by 2 multiply by t exponent 2 power 2 um, value let's get a value of 2 <coughs> that is multiply multiply by t exponent 2 that we already have here somewhere here we can bring it higher so we plug that in and um, here we have this first thing here so we have to subtract Sub subtract this to 3 multiply by t so value 
value of 3 multiply multiply by the t value A bit hard working on one screen, sorry. Um, I'm just gonna bring it here and there you go, and bring it back there. So we have 3 multiplied by t here that we have to be, uh, it needs to be subtract from 2 multiplied by t exponent 2 and uh, add 1 add create a value here one and all of this is multiplied by the point position here there you go so finally we have our tree um, our tree shape Just gonna make it clearer here. Like this. Okay. So we have this one, this one, and this one here. This is uh this one is the result of S3. It's this one here this one is s2 here and this one is s1 so we need to add them together you see the plus sign here plus sign here so let's just add add this to this to this and what is output uh, we need to output um, a point position to a mesh because if we only output point position, it doesn't gonna gonna do anything. So let's output a po the point position of uh, our uh, uh, geometry here. Eyelid open. So let's set point position. Set the point position of the the mesh here it's not really gonna set the point position to this mesh because it's gonna create a new mesh the bifrost graph will become a mesh you will see that uh, so it set the point position of the eyelid uh, geo open so we set the point position and now you're gonna see the magic happen there you go so now it has created a new mesh the bifrost graph here is a new mesh so now what we can do we can close this and see what happens when we uh, we move the t value here oh you see it's, it's going on uh, it's blending on the position of the shape here it does a nice art but that's not what we want so we just need to replace those shape here to zero there you go and we can also hide them so it doesn't uh, we can see our nice deformation so let's see again there you go we have a nice quadratic spline deformation non-linear and we can drive the slider with a controller uh, that's really simple I can show you um, what we can do is just like uh, bring a um, I like this uh, MDR plugin I love it we can create a, a little circle here um, <coughs> I'm gonna put it under a group and uh, put it somewhere here 
like this is gonna do a translation that uh, scale down all right so we have this uh, well so we have this controller here so to plug the the deformation to this controller it's uh, really simple we only need to go in the um, node the editor here and uh, we just uh, we can hide the shape just press the negative here and we also select the graph editor and we add the we add it here we can hide the we only need the shape so we can hide this one so we have this we have this we can uh, uh, push push the button here so we can see the XYZ and uh, what we want to drive is the T here so to to drive this T all we need to do is connect this to that and there you go the Y translation is now driving so it does the inverse so what we can do is uh, do a reverse reverse node plug in the y and i'll put the y here there we go so now it does it now it's not at the right place but we have a group so we can just bring it back down here and select this there you go we you have your controller driving the blend shape you can also uh, you see uh, at one at some point it goes bad but what you can do is add a clamp uh, you can add um, a clamp um, in the the graph editor or here clamp input here and uh, the new maximum will be 1 and minimum 0 cool uh, yeah and we output it here so now it's stuck even if you go further it's stuck at the end of the shape so yeah this will be uh, this thing will be available for you guys so you can uh, just plug whatever you want in your uh, uh, in your shape here because right now it's um, uh, the mesh uh, that we have plugged in but uh, if you decide to to reapply this deformation to a new character or uh, you only need to export this graph bifrost graph and uh, plugged in all uh, the the new shape here and you already have your uh, deformation ready so i hope you enjoyed and uh, that's it cheers guys bye